Hey, what's up guys? This is Polly. For today, I'm going to teach you on how to overclock your GPUs, well, your PC. So this is a very straightforward video. Um, I'm going to switch to OBS or Streamlabs and I'm going to do it on my PC. It's too bright. It, but anyway, it's too bright! No! Um, okay, so uh, the first thing we need to do is to download MSI and MSI Combustor. MSI is the overclocking utility we're going to use. Um, there is a lot of available um, overclocking utility but I chose to use MSI. But it, de it depends on what you like to use. But for this video I'm going to use MSI Afterburner. Uh, so that's one. Then we also need MSI Combustor. So this is the tool we use to stress test um, our PC while we're doing overclocking. So after that download open MSI Afterburner. Just pretend I already downloaded it and installed it and wait yada yada. And also we need to open the MSI Combustor. MSI Combustor, yeah. So when you open MSI Afterburner um, the first thing you need to do is to adjust the power limit to the max. Also, sometimes this is disabled, but if it is enabled, you can max it out. It shouldn't hurt your PC, it shouldn't damage your PC. But I'll just keep this unchanged. So after that, you need to adjust the fan curve. Um, by default, it is not enabled, so you have to enable it. Then, depending on your uh, fan curve, you can adjust it so it is more aggressive. I already um, adjusted it before, so that's why it is showing this curve right now. But you can just adjust it uh, whatever you want. Like, for example, just, you know. So, when you reach the... What the hell happened now? So when your PC reached the 45 degree temperature, it the fan speed is going to go to 80. So 40 on 40, um, 55 on 92, 55 on 90. Let's set it up, 55 to 90, yeah. Then 100% fan speed on 65 degrees. So. The reason in for that is you need to cool down your graphics card if you are going to overclock and cooling the graphics card requires a more aggressive fan speed fan curve. Yeah, so let's apply that. Press OK. Then on your MSI Combustor, just start the run stress test. You, you could use this, but I haven't used this one, but I think this will shut off at a certain amount of time. Then it will show you the uh, benchmarking result, whatnot. But for this video, we're using the run stress test. So uh, keep this MSI combustor running. Keep this open as well. Then. You need to apply the changes we've made. So so far, just the so far the changes we've made is that we adjusted the power limit and we adjusted the fan curve. But before that applies, you need to click the apply button. Makes sense, right? So we're going to apply that now. Um, the first thing we need to do for overclocking is to adjust the core clock. Okay. Um. So I've let my MSI combustor run for around. 5 minutes? I think that's 5 minutes so it's already on its peak um, GPU temperature. My graphics card is a single fan um, NVIDIA Palette 1660 Ti, the Storm X1 so that's why it has a very high temperature but that's okay. So the first thing we need to do um, is to adjust the core clock so let's add 40 first then let's apply so every time you add um, or change the core clock or the memory clock you wait for at least two minutes to check if it is still stable so let's wait for two minutes before we adjust it to 80 
Okay, so two minutes have has passed and it is still stable. So um my definition is stable is that it's not showing any artifacts or um, the MSI combustor is not crashing. But anyway, um, so two minutes has passed and we're going to adjust this now to 80. So this is just a very tedious process of changing the values and waiting for two minutes or three. You know what, I'm gonna do something extreme and adjust this to 150. I hope it will not crash. Yeah, so 160, we're going to try now 170. I'm really sorry for the noisy background, um, it's raining outside. Well, anyway, it, it is still okay. Around 70, wow. Um, so let's try now. Um, let's do something extreme like 200. Let's see if it still works. Is it going to break or is it not? Yeah, it, it crashed. <laughs> yeah, it really crashed. It's not responding anymore. I'm going to close the MSI combustor. Then we're going to put this back to. I think let's just go for 150 and then we proceed to memory clock. Overclock, I mean, overclocking the memory clock. Okay, um, so I've. Let's do the memory clock this time. Um, yeah, so the maximum clock we can add to the memory clock. The no, the maximum value we can add to the memory clock is 1,200. But for now, let's just go for 500. What if we max this one out? Hmm, let's try. Also, a hidden prerequisite when doing an overclocking is to make sure that you have enough airflow to your PC because if not it will just heat up. Currently I have six fans installed. Um, three of those are intake then another three for exhaust. Let's not apply those core voltage. Yeah. I think what also my battery is stable um, I'm going to save this one to maybe f this slot. Oh no! <gasps> I. No. What value is this? 150. Yeah, so I'm going to save this now. Um, this um, particular setup to 5. Now I will run a 3D mark um, using the stock values and another one using our saved overclock values. Here is 3D mark. Um, you use this to benchmark your PCs and you compare your scores online. So do we want to use time spy? Okay, we're using time 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 spy. We're using time spy for our test. So currently I've closed the MSI after burner. But I think if you closed it it will your graphics card will return to its stock values. But just to be sure we're going to revert the values. Now we're going to start time spy. Can't you be faster? Come on. 
This is the score using the stock settings for the GPU. We're going to run 3D Mart now using the settings that we made earlier. Yeah, so let's make sure the fan curve is also enabled. Yeah. Now, let's do this again. So, 6055. When doing overclocking, that's 500 points more. So yeah, um, you could tweak it up a little bit more. Um, depends on what's best for your graphics card. But this is mine. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.